Hey guys, it's Senka Wolf here, and today I've got another video for you. It is a tutorial on how to make a auto execute.cfg file for CSGO. If you don't know what this file is, it is basically, um, if you don't really know, in game you can get a console up, and also you can type all the commands into console to change your crosshairs, you know, the, the, the HUD, you know, modify the game to suit how you like it. And basically, a auto execute.cfg file is basically a file in which it allows you to throw all the code you type in onto the console into this one file and then it'll run every time you load up CSGO so obviously if you change any settings by mistake um, and also you've got a central HUD for all of your settings so if you change computers, go to a friend's house or uh, reformat your computer, whatever obviously then you've got your settings all on one file which you can back up onto a hard drive or to like a online storage uh, website so it's really simple to do i've also got my own version of it which i got on a paste bin website which link will be in the description which i'll show you in a few moments um where you can copy my C um my file and also you can modify it and i've also tried making mine very user friendly for other people like yourselves so it's easy to distribute but okay so getting to the video we're going to first of all need to make this file and to make this file you just want to open up notepad um you know any pref any way you open it up you can use notepad plus plus as well uh, for this demonstration i'm just going to use notepad so open up a new unsaved file from wherever you've got uh from your programs list you want to go file save as then pick a location i'm just going to go for my desktop then make sure you change the save as type to all files and click on your file name then type in as i do auto x execute and I have spelled that wrong. There we go. And then put dot cfg. And it's important that you put this dot cfg at the very end because otherwise it won't be the right file format for CSGO to read. So just hit save. And then as you can see in the background, there's the file there. I'm just going to minimize notepad. There's the file right there. So now that you've got your file, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get the code to go inside of it. So in the link in the description, there's a paste bin website, which looks like this. And basically in here, you can see all the content, which is inside of my auto execute CFG file. All you have to do is highlight all the text and copy it. So I've already highlighted it all. And I'm just going to open up notepad and paste it all in. Now, what you want to do is if I scroll to the top, obviously in here, I've got my outer game settings. Um, this is my launch settings for CSGO, which I'll go to in a few moments. Uh, then I've got my mouse settings. I've also got my gear, so my mouse, my keyboard, um, and my headset I use. So it's just extra information. Um, this custom radar, simple radar, I actually don't use this um, anymore. I literally used it for about two, three days, and then uh, I kind of couldn't get along with it really i was used to the old style maps um and also another thing i forgot to mention is i do update my paste bin uh website link to this um quite often i'm always messing about with my crosshair and whatever else so obviously remember to keep checking the link because i do update it um but obviously most of the basic uh codes and settings are all there so with that one out of the way here we go um the first section here is personal preference settings and basically what I've done is I've split this into two sections personal preference and mandatory they're not really mandatory settings it's just what I would recommend other people to use and this personal preference setting is what you need to change um, to suit your computer or suit you, your liking basically um, obviously the very first one you can pick whether you show the FPS or not Obviously, to cap your FPS, obviously, you have to cap it at what, what your computer can handle. Obviously, um, minimum is 60 FPS, I would say. Um, you know, but I have it set at 220 because it's a nice threshold for my computer. The next is my crosshair. Obviously, this is my crosshair settings. Um, obviously, there's structures in here. We can go to a, a community um, map made by Cash. Um, I think that's his name. Um, and you can create a crosshair there, or you can type in find CL underscore crosshair in the console and get your crosshair settings, and you can paste it in here before you save this into your game. 
because if you save this into your game for grabbing your crosshair or any of your other previous settings then this is going to override them and then you're going to you're going to lose them basically so um make sure you back anything of that up uh the next section is sound uh this is basically your speaker config so um if you've got one that's for you it's ugh. minus one is automatic one is for headphones three is for speakers four is for stereo speakers and six is for surround sounds obviously i always use headphones i'd recommend using headphones if you're not using a headphone i would recommend but go and buy one because if you're playing csgo i'll be kind of worried um i'm not going to go too much in detail on the mandatory settings but obviously enables a console it's just a few binds here i've got loads of custom binds um which you'll see in a moment um a copy of the original binds i've also got a view model changed i've got the net graph settings uh just fps improvements uh mo video like monitor and all that kind of thing mod cool rendering settings in better sound settings matchmaking settings to improve matchmaking um others mouse hud changes net graph scripts and the scripts does buy scripts basically um or damage indicator and then right at the end i've got all this thing which says echo and what this does is when you load the game up if you press console the moment you get into the game it'll you'll be able to see this code or all of this writing in the console and basically it tells you who is made by um, what it does and it also tells you all of the key binds so f1 displays damage in the top left corner after death f2 drops the bomb home button uh, end page up and page down are both say binds scroll all up is slot one scroll all down is slot two click him slot wheel uh, mouse wheel in gives you your knife um, mouse wheel four and five it depends if you have a mouse with additional buttons if it's just a standard one then you wouldn't have them not too much of a problem obviously then one two three four and five numbers on your keyboard i've rebinded them to select all of the grenades individually tab shows you your net graph along with the leaderboard you can use v instead of k to talk and obviously number pad zero one two three four and nine uh, to buy um all the bits here obviously you can go through the file and examine it get used to it um, it's all completely different and then once you've copied this in or created your own all you want to do is just hit save um, once you've saved that obviously you want to go back to your file and what you need to do is when you put this file into the CSGO file which is the next step after this you have to make sure you make this file a read only so what you want is right click go to properties and then here there's a little box what says read only you want to click that and click apply and what this does then is that csgo will read it can't overwrite the file for you um it i think it's um i don't know why you have to do this but obviously the file doesn't sometimes read properly um or it sometimes deletes the file if you don't do this it's a bit unusual but there you go so once you've done that you've got your file you've got the code in it all you need to now is put it on the CSGO. So now what you want to do is open up your Steam, like so. Navigate to your library. Find your Counter Strikes, Global Offense. Hit your properties. Go to a local files tab and browse local files. Now you should be, I'm just going to minimize all that and bring this back up. You should now be shown, it will show you a directory of this PC data steam library steam apps common counter-strike global defense then from here you want to go to your csgo folder then the cfg file and all you simply want to do is drop and drag this file into this folder i've already got mine in there so i'm not going to bother replacing it and since once that's in there that's all of that done so now you've got your file created and all loaded up into into csgo and now I'm being spammed by notifications on Steam. Brilliant. Uh, <laughs> okay, guys. Now, after you've done, you've done that, the file should load automatically. But on the safe side, I like to add a... Um, on the on Steam, you can actually add commands to do additional items on startup. So if you go back to your Steam, open up properties again, and go to general, and then go to set launch options in here, I've added plus 
we then execute space and the auto execute.cfg and basically what this does is it will execute this file when you load up csgo um, obviously as you saw in the on the csgo file if i quickly open it back up again right at the top i've got all of these codes which are for the launch options and basically what i'd recommend is copy all of these line by line and paste them oh sorry i've lost it here we go and paste them line by line into this section um, of the launch settings and what this will do is it will um basically improve performance and also make sure everything's executed properly um, i'll quickly go through these before you actually go through that obviously high makes the game high priority on your cpu uh, your threads um, only change this if you know how many threads your how many number of cores your cpu has minus four so mine set to four if if you don't know just leave that out uh no vid get rid of the, the load up video when you launch csgo no droid turns off um any kind of like controls or support sort of thing uh, language banana gaming that is a custom language which just changes the fonts and colors of some of the text in the game and um basically i another youtuber really like his uh font what my language um which he's created for csgo i recommend you go and check that out and obviously then the obviously most important bit is the execute auto execute.cfg file so once you've got the file you've created it thrown it in the file path updated your launch options you're all ready to go to go and check out the changes which is made in csgo hey guys uh okay that's that for that video uh sorry it was a bit of an abrupt end again um but obviously i kind of waffled on and i didn't really want to drag this video out as much longer as what you guys wanted either so basically that's how you make your auto execute file for csgo um the gameplay in the background also shows what it does to the hud so you can just look at this video now to kind of see what it does uh, but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video i'm sorry i waffled on a little bit in it as well but the problem is i like to get all of the information out there and i don't like to miss a single bit of detail which is good and bad but anyway guys thanks for watching this video and peace